Um, there are, is a nuclear plant on the lake, Lake Erie, uh, in Ohio, uh, in the east of Toledo, uh, called Davis Bessie. And this reactor is absolutely a disaster in progress. It's not even waiting to happen. Uh, they, they leak uh, boric acid onto the reactor pressure vessel and ate a hole through it that almost caused a, a major disaster. They have replaced uh, in a ridiculous manner the containment t dome at Davis Bessie. The all sorts of things continue to go wrong. It's a um, clone of Three Mile Island. It's the same class. Babcock and Wilcox built it. Um, uh, the, it's a, un unprotectable and unprotected. Its safety systems are deficient. This, these reactors have been op this reactor at Davis Bessie has been operating more than 40 years, um, um, or just about 40 years, and it's um, completely. Obsolete. It was designed in the 1960s, for God's sake. I don't know how many of you are driving automobiles that are 40 years older that were designed in the 50s. Well, here we have this nuke running on Lake Erie, threatening the lake, threatening the people on the North Coast, threatening the economy, all for the sake of the private profit of a few rich, fat cat um, uh, utility executives. And God forbid anything go wrong at David's especially, uh, they are not responsible. They are protected by the federal law, by the Price Anderson Act of 1957. And so if Davis Bessie, God forbid, blows up um, and uh, spews the radiation all over the north coast of Ohio and into the Lake Erie and the other Great Lakes and uh, kills thousands of people, does trillions of dollars worth of damage, uh, wipes out the ecosystem, the owners of that reactor are not responsible. They are uh, um, uh, protected by um, uh, the Price Anderson Act of 1957. They wouldn't have to pay you or anybody else uh, a dime for the loss of your property or your life or the health of your children or your children's children. Uh, they just continue to run this thing into the ground because they can make an extra couple of bucks on it. It should never have been built. It should never have reopened after the uh, boric acid ate through its head. They should never have been allowed to replace the containment dome on the top of the thing, and they should not be allowed to continue to run this plant. Now, the uh, uh, First Energy, the corporate monster utility uh, up by Lake Erie, uh, has gone in front of the Public Utilities Commission, proving they have absolutely no shame whatsoever, and demanded that they be paid $3 billion by the ratepayers, $3 billion to continue to subsidize operations at Davis Bessie and to keep two or more 50-year-old coal plants burning. First Energy uh, is completely irresponsible. They don't, they're just a big bully utility company. Their president, Anthony Alexander, makes God knows how many much money. He's a personal friend of Dick Cheney. Um, and uh, they absolutely do not care about the public health or safety in any way, shape, or form. And so they are demanding now, because they can't compete with natural gas or with fuel oil um, uh, for burning and creating electricity, they are demanding that uh, uh, they be bailed out for $3 billion by the ratepayers to keep these, uh, this obsolete, horrifically dangerous reactor operating in these uh, uh, old coal plants. I mean, you know, it's hard to imagine a more chutzpah and, more, and a more uncaring, um, uh, irresponsible, greedy operation than First Energy going ahead and doing all this. So uh, uh, it's in front of the Ohio Public Utilities Commission. The, the Ohio seems bound to determine to wind up in the 19th century. Uh, the first act of the current governor when he took office uh, uh, four years ago was to kill $400 million that have been set aside to restore passenger rail service to Columbus, Cincinnati, and Cleveland, which haven't had it since 1979, for God's sakes. And then they, they forced out uh, a $2 billion wind project They've killed at least one fifty million dollar solar project. Uh, they uh, are trying to keep the Tesla electric car from being sold in the state. Uh, these are uh, corporate operatives running the Ohio government that have absolutely no concern about the public and uh, couldn't care less about Ohio's competitive state um, in the, the technology of the modern world. So uh, anybody listening from Ohio, uh, uh, the Public Utilities Commission is considering this gargantuan bailout for uh, First Energy, and it needs to be stopped. So uh, I will be writing about it.
it, you can contact me. Go to the Ohio Public Utilities Commission uh, website and write them. Uh, come out to their hearings. But uh, if they do this, if they go ahead and give the three billion dollars to keep operating there, especially in these old commercial uh, uh, coal plants, uh, you know that Ohio is basically uh, done for. It'll be a wasteland, a, a, a desert, and uh, uh, we'll all have 